How does God's kingdom come? Matthew 6.10 Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth, as it is in heaven. This is a very interesting part of the Lord's Prayer, where Jesus instructs his disciples to pray for God's kingdom to come. God's kingdom is speaking about his reign, his kingdom law, and his mind to be manifested in the earth. This could not happen in its fullness at the time when Jesus said it because Jesus had not yet died. Jesus is the one who made it possible for the kingdom of God to be manifested in the world through his body, i.e., the church. Through the church, God makes his will known to the world. In Matthew 16, 19, Jesus told Peter, who became the lead apostle, that he would have the keys of the kingdom. There were three different types of people groups at the time of the apostles, which were Jews, Samaritans, and Gentiles, and none of these people groups received the Holy Ghost unless the apostle Peter was present. The Jews received the Holy Spirit in Acts 2, then the Samaritans in Acts 8, 14, 17, and the last people group to receive the Holy Spirit was the Gentiles in Acts 10, with the household of Cornelius. Peter had the keys, so he had to be present, or the Holy Spirit would not have fell. These are the three people groups that made up the early church, and now we have the keys or the authority to manifest or to make known the mind and will of the king of the kingdom.